How to install MIUI 12 Beta China builds on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install MIUI 12 China builds on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 11 based on Android 10, and this is running the global stable build. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, then you need to have Torp recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those, which are linked in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any issues like boot loops then we'll have to do a format data from to recovery in which case you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device another thing i would like to mention is that Someone commented on my conversion video of Redmi K20 Pro to the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and vice versa that if you flash a build from another region on your device, sometimes your sensors stop working. So keep that in mind. Me personally, I have never faced that issue, but it might happen to you. So a fair piece of warning. And I also recommend that you have a backup of your persist partition. How do you do that? I have a separate video for that as well which can be found in the description of the video all the warnings aside you also need two other applications so you need an application called Z archiver and then you also need an application for editing text files this is the text editor i'm going to use and links to both of these applications can also be found in the description of this video other than that the most important file which we need is the miui 12 china beta zip file and this is the file miui rafael 20.4.27 is the one which we're going to use in this video however you can use the latest betas as and when they come then we also need magisk because if you do not flash magisk then on first boot up into miui 12 to up recovery will be overwritten and we also need disable force encryption for those of you who are not encrypted how do you know whether you are encrypted or not well you can go into settings and then you will go into password and security and privacy as you can see for me my phone is not encrypted which means i will have to flash disable force encryption zip file in case your device is encrypted then you do not have to flash the disable force encryption zip file next thing we need to do is you need to go into settings password and security and remove your password fingerprint and face unlock once that is done you will go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account as well why are we removing all these accounts and security measures well we're going from me ui 11 to me ui 12 and flashing a rom which is not meant to be flashed on our device so i don't want you to be locked out of your own device and that is why we are removing all these accounts and security measures and make sure you reboot your device once you have removed all these accounts and security measures to make sure that all of them have been removed successfully next thing we're going to do is we'll open the z archiver application click on ok give it all the permissions it asks for and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have the miui 12 beta rom zip file here is the file i'm talking about in case you downloaded the file on your phone directly it will be in the download folder next thing we're going to do is we will select this file and then it will ask us where do we want to extract it so we're going to say extract to archive name and this is going to extract that zip file in a folder with the same name so the file was decompressed successfully and now we have this folder miui rafael and 20.4.27 and some characters we'll go inside that folder then you're going to meta inf com google android and here we have two files update binary and updater script the file we are concerned about is updater script so press and hold and you'll have a pop-up menu scroll down 
click on rename tap over there and then add the extension dot txt to this file so now the file has been renamed to updater hyphen script dot txt next thing we need to edit this file so we will tap on the file and then click on open now we will get another pop-up window which will ask us what application we want to use to open this file we'll click on more and here we need to select the text editor which we had installed which is the second one in my case tap on it it will ask for access to storage click on allow and it didn't open the file so we'll go back and tap on the file one more time click on open click on more and editor one more time so here it is the file has been opened successfully next click on the edit icon on the top which was the pencil icon now if you have a look at this file the first two lines are the files which are of concern to us these are the lines which are checking whether this is the chinese variant of the redmi k20 pro or it is the indian variant or the international variant which would be the mi 90 pro so all we need to do is we are going to delete that line so the lines which we need to delete are the ones which are get prop and the ui print so scroll all the way to the right and tap on it so that your cursor is after the release keys semicolon and then we are going to press the delete button on the keyboard and delete the first two lines so we have successfully deleted the first two lines and now it starts with show progress next click on the save icon on the top right which would be the second icon and there it is the file was saved successfully now we can go back and just to double check we'll just tap on the file click on open and again select our editor to make sure that the lines were deleted successfully so now we can go back and we'll press and hold scroll down select rename and now we need to remove the dot txt extension which we had added so we'll just remove dot txt click on okay and there it is the file has been renamed to updater script next up we can go up a level and keep going up till you reach this place where we have all the extracted files here we need to compress these files back so click on the three dot menu on the top right and then select multi select multi select mode is enabled now click on the two arrows which you see this is going to give us another option and here we need to say select all once we have selected all the files we need to press and hold we will get another pop-up window we'll say compress and archive format needs to be zip compression level you can leave it as it is just leave it as fast which was default and we can add another name to this file just to ensure that we know which is the one which we edited so i'll just add my name m-u-n-c-h-y and hyphen and then leave it as it is make sure the extension is dot zip there it is dot zip in the building and then click on ok so now this process will compress all the files including our edited updater script and create another zip file which should be in this very folder and there it is the file was compressed successfully and this is the file which we need to flash so next thing we're going to do is we'll turn off our device and once the device has turned off we need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twerp recovery boot logo once we have booted into twerp recovery we're going to wipe advanced wipe and select alloy cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done we'll click on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where we have our new edited zip file so in case it was in your download folder you'll have a folder in download but in my case i had it in the root directory so here is the folder and this is the file which we are looking for as i mentioned earlier i did add my name at the beginning of the file just to differentiate it and all we need to do is select the file and then swipe to confirm flash and there it is you can see that it is flashing all the files which we need now once the file is flashed successfully we'll click on the home button and now if your device was not encrypted again if your device was not encrypted then we need to flash disable force encryption so we'll go into mount make sure that vendor is mounted in case it is not click on the square beside vendor make sure you get the check mark then we'll click on the home button go into install and now we need to navigate to the folder where we have our disable force encryption zip file select the file and then swipe to confirm flash 
an important thing to note over here is that make sure that it is patching some f stabs so as you can see it did tell me that it is patching f stab in vendor etc f stab dot qcom once this is done we'll click on the home button next thing we need to do is flash magisk however if you try to flash magisk right now we'll get an error which is error one so we'll click on the home button go into reboot and select recovery back into two up recovery we'll go into install and if you try to flash magisk now you will not get any error message so once magisk has installed successfully all we need to do is click on the home button then we'll go into reboot and select system however if you run into any boot loops or any encryption issues then you'll have to boot back into two up recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time while you're in the boot loop till you see the two up recovery boot logo then you'll go into wipe format data type in yes and click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard for now we will skip the step go into reboot and then select system and bam there it is we do have the redmi by xiaomi boot animation powered by android and you can see the three dots are moving at the bottom which means our device is booting into miui 12 the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and oh yeah there it is miui 12 we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and yes you do have the option of english during the initial setup so make sure you choose that if you prefer english let me skip rest of the steps another important thing i would like to recommend is that make sure you have turned off automatic system updates because we do not want the update to be applied automatically because we are using a build which is not supposed to be installed on our device and there it is let us now go into settings and my device bam there it is miui version 12 and we are using the beta from 20.4.27 no automatic updates needed and here it is new ui in the building new gestures new way of getting your recents next up let's go into settings and password and security and privacy there it is phone is still not encrypted which means dfe was flashed successfully now another thing i would like to add is that the china builds do not come with play store installed how do you install that well for starters make sure you have an active internet connection on my device so let me connect my device to the internet now once we have connected to the internet you need to go to this application which is get apps this will be baked in with the rom click on agree and click on the search bar on the top just tap on the options which i'm tapping on and here you need to search for google and then click on search and bam here it is you have the option of google play store and it is giving us the option to update it so all we're going to do is just tap on update wait for it to download the update and then we should have google play store installed on our redmi k20 pro and let's open the application there it is you can now sign into your account and that should do it so there it is peeps that is how you install miui 12 beta builds from china on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you